Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And we've got the last of the supermarket, the French supermarket wines uh, that I bought at Carrefour uh, in Poyac. Now this wine, um, I don't really know why I bought it other than the fact that I didn't really recognize uh, Matarain as an as a, uh, appellation. Uh, but this is a, yet another um, Southwest France Appalachian. Now, this one really is kind of like south southwestern France, um, not kind of the southeastern part of southwest France. This is actually getting closer to the Pyrenees Mountains. Um, it's an area called Madurain. I assume we're pronouncing it correctly. Um, I keep wanting to say Madrain, but that's not it because that's the me flipping the letters around. Uh, but this one's called Carte Noir um, Madurain. And it's 2008. Now I spent 277 uh, euros, 2.77 2 euros. I don't know. I guess two euros and 77 cents. I guess that's how they do it. Uh, how they how they say it over there, uh, which translates in today's dollar to three dollars and 86 cents. So a little bit more than the last wine. Um, again, a full size bottle. Uh, so basically, for four bucks or less, you're getting some wine. Now, what's significant about this wine? Um, and, and when I was reading the back label, of course, all these labels are in French and my, my limited French, um, I have an easier time reading it than understanding someone speaking it because I can use all my other language stuff of Latin and Spanish and the two or three Italian words I know, but basically the Romance language stuff that I know, uh, to kind of figure out what's being said on the back label. But on here, um... They've got uh, listed the varietals, and this is not unusual for this part of the area. Um, okay, so they've got Tanat, Cabernet Franc, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and then a, a uh, varietal that I had to look up again because I had forgotten it was in there. It's called Fer uh, Servadou. Now, uh, Fer is F-E-R, and if you know your Latin roots, uh, you'll know that uh, and you know your chemistry, you'll know that iron has the chemical symbol of Fe and ferrous and all that. So um, it's not an iron wine. It's not an iron grape. Um, it's a varietal that's not used a whole lot. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, native to this area. And uh, it's called that because the vines, the actual, the, 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 the vine stalks or whatever, branches uh, were very, very hard and hard like iron. So it's not that the grapes have imparted any type of iron flavor or anything like that to it. It's just the uh, nature of the vines themselves. Um, so this is a, a varietal that um, I've never had and I bet you none of you have ever had it. Um, granted, it's, I don't know the percentages. It's probably a couple percentage points of it, but um, it, it's you know just like any other blending grapes, it's used for either color or structure or flavor. Um, in this case, it's used for flavor, if I remember correctly, and on what it's, on how it's described. So, um, but basically, it's a, uh, it's, it's a wine mostly of Tanat with uh, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. Tanat, like I talked about in the last one, is a very, very tannic wine, uh, or, or can make, makes very, very tannic wine. So, uh, I'm just going to check this out. I'm really excited about this, uh, this wine here. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than the last one. Color-wise, not too bad. Um, granted, I don't have a white background I'm using to kind of look at the color. Um, it's not, it's actually, I can actually kind of see my hand through it, so it's a fairly light wine. So it probably doesn't get much, probably doesn't get a lot of skin contact. So um, it shouldn't be, it probably won't be too tannic. Um, that's one of the things about Fair that uh, I read about is that they, all, they use it to kind of soften the tannins of Tanat with it. So um, color-wise, not too bad. Viscosity. 
you know, pretty light viscosity. I think this is another 12.5% uh, wine, no, 13% on the alcohol. Again, not high alcohol wines from France. And uh, we'll see how it is. Uh, definitely uh, more minerality from the nose on this. Not a whole lot of fruit going on. Uh, not a lot of floral. Peppers, like pepper, not 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 uh, like black pepper, white pepper type of stuff. Um, you know, you take a big, big, you know, sniff of this, and, and you almost want to sneeze. On fruit, I'll go with the raspberry. It's 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 really subtle. It's not much on the fruit. I'm really grasping for straws on that, but it's it's peppers, pepper, pep, not peppers, but pepper, uh, more than anything else. Let's we'll see how it is on the pot. Hmm. Lots of floral on the palate, and it's it's when you're doing that, you know, the the, the sucking in, you're getting that kind of potpourri type of of, uh, of really the aroma, and almost candle wax. That's what it is. It's like this. It's like I'm smelling candles, uh, and I'm still getting it because it's it's still in my mouth. And I can still get that. Something I've never experienced that I can remember from, from a wine. But now that I've gone through, I've tasted it, and I'm back into smelling it. I'm getting more peppers, not just the white and black pepper, but more of the peppers, and now I'm getting some more fruit. More of a cherry rather than a raspberry. That candle wax, that 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 scented candle thing, is just so dominant on 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 the palate when you're when you're breathing in, when you're aerating the wine in your mouth. It's it's distracting, um, probably because I've never seen, I've never had this before. Um, it's intriguing. It's a little distracting. Um, uh, tannins are are moderate. Uh, acid is very light to moderate. Um, I'm getting a little bit of fruit on there, but it's again, it's um, maybe that maybe that cherry kind of thing. It's not really really um, uh, prominent either. Uh, the candle wax is really the thing, and the potpourri type of thing. It's it's a very uh, flowery or floral and kind of waxy wine. Um, not bad. Um, I actually prefer the Cahors more to this one, um, but I do like this wine. I'm going to still give it an 82. Um, it's not a wine that's going to, again, it's not, you're not going to have some revelation that it's some great wine that you got for four bucks or three dollars. Um, but, uh, if, you know, you just want an everyday drinking wine that's something a little different than the ordinary wine, the, the, your typical, even Cahors, you know, so if you're not getting Malbecs or Cabs, Cabs or Merlots or, or, you know, your typical French wine, something that, that's, um, at least for an American palate is unusual. Uh, especially with having the tanat part of it. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's opening up some more. Um, I'm more intrigued with this wine. It's still going to keep it an 82. I'm intrigued with it, but as far as drinking pleasure, I think I like the Cahors better, but this is just pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. Not a bad one. If you find it in the grocery store and you want something to look like a little bit different as far as a flavor profile, I say get it. 
Um, again, you're probably not going to find this in the United States. Uh, it's probably something that's only really sold in France. Probably knows that you can't even get it anywhere else in Europe, but um, that's unusual for stuff like that. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap it up. Talked a lot about what's going on uh, two episodes ago uh, with with uh, stuff, you know, specials and, and appearances and all that kind of stuff. So uh, also just, again, make sure you stop by the website uh, because of that, that Doisy of Your Dream episode didn't show up. Now, maybe it's showing up now on TiVo, but um, after it's been a few more days, but for some reason it didn't show up even though the feed is okay. So um, stop by the website, and uh, if you want some more information like sommelier type of stuff, sommelier school, uh, I still got all the first level stuff up there. I never finished it all. I'm probably just not even going to, I'm just going to go right into doing certified stuff eventually. But uh, check that out, and hopefully I've gotten some written stuff on there soon about the trip, and I'm going to try to do some more writing on there. Uh, all right, we're going to call it a day, and uh, thank you for stopping by. We'll see everybody again next time.